What's up, guys? Jaxel here. So, uh, Zen402 uh, is upon us, which, of course, means I need to update all my add-ons for this new platform. Uh, so, it's mostly complete rewrites. So, a lot of things are going to change. And the first add-on I want to talk about is ZenPorta2, which is my popular uh, portal add-on, which you can see right here. This is very basic settings. Uh, I have it showing only two articles. Uh, with masonry grid, uh, it has the uh, feature slider up here, and then it also has infinite scrolling. So we're going to scroll down, and we're going to see more articles load up. There we go, and then we got some nice widgets down here. I only have five articles on my test forum, which is why only five articles loaded up. But And I also set it to two articles only, so chances are you'll probably want to do more. But you know that. Uh, the masonry and the infinite scrolling looks rather nice. All right, so moving on, uh, let's go talking about the uh, actual admin control panel section. Now, this is on my test forum, so things are going to react slowly because my test forum is, is kind of slow, and I apologize for that. Anyways, once you have your add-on installed, you're going to see a link here on the left side for the add-ons uh, control panel area and uh, I've got my categories articles and features they're pretty much the same as the previous uh, version of the add-on categories are your major tags you can have a category in the description so that's the equivalent of having a page just for a, a specific category and the descriptions over here and you can even have it forced to specific styles which I'm not gonna do and we have our articles list Simple, you can edit each article settings right here from within the admin control panel. Uh, custom break text, the date, a format thread as an article. Uh, basically, when you click on a thread, it's going to format the thread as if it was you have a news website, a, uh, a, a, a news blog or something. So it's going to make it look like an actual article instead of being a normal thread. Uh, block text, uh, author bona fides, and articles look like comments instead of replies. Uh, sticky, the article index, just makes it at the top. And exclude from article index means the article will only show up on category pages or author pages, not on your uh, home page. Then you can have custom title and excerpt text. That's text that appears only here, but not when you uh, view the actual article itself. And then, of course, the categories it belongs to. Uh, features, pretty much exactly the same. Edit your features, custom excerpt text. You can add a YouTube video right here and an image. So we see we have our image right here. Uh, normally, we'll try to load a YouTube video, but if it fails to load the YouTube video for whatever reason, that's why the text showed up at the bottom. And this is a slider, so it rotates. For my settings, I think it's every 20 seconds. Yeah. All right. Then, of course, we have our authors, which is that uh, bona fide block that I showed before. Uh, we have a quick link to the widgets menu. And the reason why it's a quick link to the widgets menu is because Zen402 has its own built-in widget system. Uh, so we're actually using that instead of writing our own. Uh, the built-in, there's no reason to have two. I think that just confuses people. Uh, the built-in one, uh, it's it works really well. I love it. It's so easy to program for. It's so easy to manage. It's just not as feature-rich as the one I uh, in Zenporta for Zen 401, which had its own widget system, but it's a lot easier to use, so it's what we're going to stick with since the majority of people weren't using those advanced features anyways. Uh, and then we have our options screen, so let's go over some of the options. Uh, enable navigation tab, custom meta description, articles per page. I already showed it. We had... Uh, two per page so that we can use the uh, infinite scrolling and the masonry. Let's increase that to 10. Uh, the excerpt trim. 
which uh, trims the text to up to 1,000 characters, strip line break, strip BB code, external images. I actually don't recommend using external images. External images allows you to have your article headers as uh, images not part of the attachment system in Zenforo, which I actually don't recommend because if those websites go down, you're kind of screwed. Uh, then there's the article layout. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when we go to the, uh, let's see, article promotion, there's that option to format thread as an article. Uh, if you uncheck this option, then the article will just appear as a thread and none of these options will matter. Uh, but if you have it formatted as an article, then these options are applied. So the custom article layout is pretty much enables the entire thing. Uh, the simple comments changes the comment system from replies to smaller, a smaller bit, simpler bit. So it's bits, you know, let's uh, disable it so you can see what a normal, uh, this is what a normal comment system looks like. It's big, it's a complete waste of space. So we have the smaller one, makes it look more professional. Uh, there's the author byline block, which I showed here. And then there's the attachment gallery. The attachment gallery is the list of attachments that uh, show up at the bottom of every post like this. Um, like this uh, attachment I'm using for the uh, icon header over here. So it's not really essential to uh, to the actual article itself. So I've disabled attachment galleries on my website so that if there's an image I want to show in as part of the article, I have to insert it as a thumbnail. So for instance, I would do that. Or maybe if I wanted even full image. You know, it, it forces you to uh, control how you want to uh, view threads more uh, accurately. But it does look nicer. And then of course the feature dimensions are the dimensions of the image behind the feature block. All right, so let's uh, go into the style properties. Uh, let's look at the feature style properties. Not really any different than the old version, and it's all based on sizes and uh, uh, what's it called? Responsive design, so I'm not really going to talk about it. All right, so Zimporta 2 options. We've got uh, the uh, article icon header title which is this title over here. If you're using uh, article headers, that's the uh, settings for this text. Now, article headers, let's uh, disable everything for now. Uh, whoopsie, I'm doing this in a, in a custom skin. Let's uh, revert all these. Let's, uh... all right. Master style. Now let's disable them. All right. So this is what a what the normal article system looks like. And you can see we have our icons as uh, images on the right side of each post. But if we enable article headers, uh, this test server is really slow. <laughs> Those images appear as headers to the article. Now, I don't think it looks very good on a single column layout, which is why I would enable masonry grid on my page. So let's say we're going to have three columns. And now we also have responsive design options. So it starts at three, we'll shrink to two, and then eventually go to one over time. So let's get our three columns. There we go. And let's look at how the responsive design works. It's going to shrink down. Now it's two columns. And now it's one column. Very nice. And then we also have infinite scrolling, which I showed before. Uh, and the 
offset date block. Now, if you look here, you'll see uh, the uh, author and then the date at the top. But if we enable the offset date block and then refresh, now we have it saying December 17 on the left side with a white strip to the left. It's just a, a style feature, but I like it enough to put it as a default feature into the add-on. All right, so let's talk about widgets. Like I said, widgets are... Very different because now we're using the Zenfora built-in widget system. Uh, we have a whole bunch of widget positions. So if we add a widget, we have the articles widget, which is basically going to emulate your article list. Uh, we have the a countdown clock, which I have over here. Uh, a Discord block, Facebook block, and Twitter block, and the Features block. Now, by default, there, the Features block doesn't even show up on your home portal page. You have to put it there. So that's what I did. Articles list above in the full width. And uh, here are all my settings. Simple stuff. Uh, you can even relocate it to different places. So let me show you how that works. Now let's uh, let's put the Discord block in the articles uh, sidebar. There we go. And now let's refresh this. And now what you'll see here is the the uh, features is actually you know to the side because we have a sidebar. And so we have a feature here where we can actually relocate the location of the features list. And my recommended position is .p-body-main. And let's click Save on that. And now when we refresh, you're going to see it relocated at the top of everything and push the Discord block down. I think that looks a lot nicer being full width across the top. Those are just some basic advanced settings. Wait, why do I have this feature? All right, so that's basically uh, widgets. Well, uh, what the widgets are, but the widget positions are a bit different. So let's uh, look at Discord again. Let's uh, put it back uh, below in split. Now, by default, um, all the widget locations in Zen 402 are full width. Wait a minute, that's not right. Where did I put this? Oh, article list. Yeah, there we go. So if you were to uh, put a the Discord block in, let's say, a forum list above the nodes, and click Save. Now when we go to the forum list, the Discord block stretches all the way from the left side to the right side, and it takes up this big, huge block. Uh, what I've done is I've added uh, a couple of new locations. I have forum list above and below split. And what split does is it actually... Wait a minute. Yeah. It actually splits the widget block in a flex box, uh, a flex box, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, below it. So it'll try to keep it, uh, you know, around 250 pixels, which is what uh, the default uh, uh, width of the sidebar is. You can always change it with style settings. Whoops, that's not right. And let's inspect. And because of that, you can see it also is uh, responsive. Now, the Facebook block is not responsive because Facebook's code is terrible. Uh, but that's you know, pretty, pretty much it, you know? Some basic features. Uh, locations would be the article view, which is... Uh, 
viewing an actual article on the sidebar, article list above, article full and split, below full and split, sidebar, side nav, and then forum list above and below split positions. Now, these don't have full positions because the uh, Zenforo itself has full positions over here. Uh, forum list above and below. These are full positions, so I only need to add the split. Uh, so that that's basically it. If you've uh, got any questions, let me know. If uh, there are some more widget locations that you're interested in me adding, let me know. If there's more widgets you need me to add, let me know. I did. You'll notice that I don't have a lot of uh, widgets because uh, the uh, raw HTML widget is honestly it's enough to carry out the needs for most widgets. Like in the previous version of Zephyr, I had an AdSense widget, a Google AdSense widget. Why? Just use the raw HTML widget and just paste the code in there. It's it, it, I mean, it was just a waste of time doing those other widgets, so I didn't include them. Anyways, peace out, guys, and look forward to Zen, uh, Zenporta 2 on January 1st.